Meghalaya UK, US, is a state in northeast India. The name means, the abode of clouds, in Sanskrit. The population of Meghalaya as of 2016 is estimated to be 3,211,474. Meghalaya covers an area of approximately 22,430 square kilometres, with a length to breadth ratio of about 3 to 1. The state is bounded to the south by the Bangladeshi divisions of Mimesing and Silhet, to the west by the Bangladeshi division of Rangpur, and to the north and east by India's state of Assam. The capital of Meghalaya is Shillong. During the British rule of India, the British imperial authorities nicknamed it the Scotland of the East. Meghalaya was previously part of Assam, but on 21 January 1972, the districts of Khasi, Garo and Jaintia Hills became the new state of Meghalaya. English is the official language of Meghalaya. The other principal languages spoken include Khasi, Garo, Pnar, Biat Hajong, Assamese and Bengali. Unlike many Indian states, Meghalaya has historically followed a matrilineal system where the lineage and inheritance are traced through women. The youngest daughter inherits all wealth and she also takes care of her parents. The state is the wettest region of India, recording an average of 12,000 mm of rain a year. About 70% of the state is forested. The Meghalaya subtropical forests ecoregion encompasses the state, its mountain forests are distinct from the lowland tropical forests to the north and south. The forests are notable for their biodiversity of mammals, birds, and plants. Meghalaya has predominantly an agrarian economy with a significant commercial forestry industry. The important crops are potatoes, rice, maize, pineapples, bananas, papayas, spices, etc. The service sector is made up of real estate and insurance companies. Meghalaya's gross state domestic product for 2012 was estimated at 16,173 crore rupees $2.3 billion in current prices. The state is geologically rich in minerals, but it has no significant industries. The state has about 1,170 kilometers 730 miles of national highways. It is also a major logistical center for trade with Bangladesh. In July 2018, the International Commission on Stratigraphy divided the Holocene epoch into three, with the late Holocene being called the Meghalayan Stage Age, since a speleothem in Mamala Cave indicating a dramatic worldwide climate event around 2250 BC had been chosen as the boundary stratotype. Topic: History. Topic. Ancient Meghalaya, along with the neighboring Indian states, have been of archaeological interest. People have lived here since Neolithic era. Neolithic sites discovered so far are located in areas of high elevation such as in Khasi Hills, Garo Hills and neighboring states. Here Neolithic style jum or shifting cultivation is practiced even today. The highland plateaus fed by abundant rains provided safety from floods and a rich soil. The importance of Meghalaya is its possible role in human history through domestication of rice. One of the competing theories for the origin of rice, is from Ian Glover, who states, India is the centre of greatest diversity of domesticated rice with over 20,000 identified species and northeast India is the most favourable single area of the origin of domesticated rice. The limited archaeology done in the hills of Meghalaya suggest human settlement since ancient times. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Modern history. Meghalaya was formed by carving out two districts from the state of Assam, the United Khasi Hills and Jaintia Hills, and the Garo Hills on the 21st of January 1972. Before attaining full statehood, Meghalaya was given semi autonomous status in 1970. The Khasi, Garo, and Jaintia tribes had their own kingdoms until they came under British administration in the 19th century. Later, the British incorporated Meghalaya into Assam in 1835. The region enjoyed semi independent status by virtue of a treaty relationship with the British Crown. When Bengal was partitioned on 16 October 1905 by Lord Curzon, Meghalaya became a part of the new province of eastern Bengal and Assam. However, when the partition was reversed in 1912, Meghalaya became a part of the province of Assam. 
On 3 January 1921 in pursuance of Section 52A of the Government of India Act of 1919, the Governor-General in Council declared the areas now in Meghalaya, other than the Khasi states, as backward tracts. Subsequently, the British administration enacted the Government of India Act of 1935, which regrouped the backward tracts into two categories, excluded and partially excluded areas. At the time of Indian independence in 1947, present-day Meghalaya constituted two districts of Assam and enjoyed limited autonomy within the state of Assam. A movement for a separate hill state began in 1960. The Assam Reorganisation Act of 1969 accorded an autonomous status to the state of Meghalaya. The act came into effect on 2 April 1970, and an autonomous state of Meghalaya was born out of Assam. The autonomous state had a 37-member legislature in accordance with the sixth schedule to the Indian constitution. In 1971, the parliament passed the Northeastern Areas Reorganization Act, 1971, which conferred full statehood on the autonomous state of Meghalaya. Meghalaya attained statehood on 21 January 1972, with a legislative assembly of its own. Geography Meghalaya is one of the seven sister states of northeast India. The state of Meghalaya is mountainous, with stretches of valley and highland plateaus, and it is geologically rich. It consists mainly of Archean rock formations. These rock formations contain rich deposits of valuable minerals like coal, limestone, uranium and sulamanite. Meghalaya has many rivers. Most of these are rain-fed and seasonal. The important rivers in the Garo Hills region are Ganal, Daring, Sonda, Bandra, Bugai, Daring, Simsang, Natai and the Bhupai. In the central and eastern sections of the plateau, the important rivers are Khri, Daiguru, Umiyam, Kinshi, Jadukata, Mapa, Umiyam or Barapani, Umgat and Mintu. In the southern Khasi Hills region, these rivers have created deep gorges and several beautiful waterfalls. The elevation of the plateau ranges between 150 meters (490 feet) to 1961 meters (6434 feet). The central part of the plateau comprising the Khasi Hills has the highest elevations, followed by the eastern section comprising the Jainsha Hills region. The highest point in Meghalaya is Shillong Peak, which is a prominent IAF station in the Khasi Hills overlooking the city of Shillong. It has an altitude of 1,961 meters. The Garo Hills region in the western section of the plateau is nearly plain. The highest point in the Garo Hills is Nokrek Peak with an altitude of 1,515 meters. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Climate. With average annual rainfall as high as 12,000 mm in, in some areas, Meghalaya is the wettest place on Earth. The western part of the plateau, comprising the Garo Hills region with lower elevations, experiences high temperatures for most of the year. The Shillong area, with the highest elevations, experiences generally low temperatures. The maximum temperature in this region rarely goes beyond 28 degrees Celsius 82 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas sub-zero winter temperatures are common. The town of Sora in the Khasi Hills south of capital Shillong holds the world record for most rain in a calendar month, while the village of Masinram, near Sora holds the record for the most rain in a year. Flora and fauna. About 70% of the state is forested, of which 9,496 square kilometers (3,666 square miles) is dense primary subtropical forest. The Meghalayan forests are considered to be among the richest botanical habitats of Asia. These forests receive abundant rainfall and support a vast variety of floral and faunal biodiversity. A small portion of the forest area in Meghalaya is under what are known as sacred groves. See Sacred Groves of India. These are small pockets of ancient forest that have been preserved by the communities for hundreds of years due to religious and cultural beliefs. These forests are reserved for religious rituals and generally remain protected from any exploitation. These sacred groves harbor many rare plant and animal species. 
The Nokrek Biosphere Reserve in the West Garo Hills and the Balfakram National Park in the South Garo Hills are considered to be the most biodiversity-rich sites in Meghalaya. In addition, Meghalaya has three wildlife sanctuaries. These are the Nongkilam Wildlife Sanctuary, the Siju Sanctuary and the Bagmara Sanctuary, which is also the home of the insect-eating pitcher plant Nepenthes kasiana also called Mamang Koksi in local language. Due to diverse climatic and topographic conditions, Meghalayan forests support a vast floral diversity, including a large variety of parasites, epiphytes, succulent plants and shrubs. Two of the most important tree varieties are Shore robusta sal tree and Tectana grandis teak. Meghalaya is also the home to a large variety of fruits, vegetables, spices and medicinal plants. Meghalaya is also famous for its large variety of orchids, nearly 325 of them. Of these the largest variety is found in the Mazmai, Mamla and Sorarim forests in the Kasi Hills. Meghalaya also has a large variety of mammals, birds, reptiles and insects. The important mammal species include elephants, bear, red pandas, civets, mongooses, weasels, rodents, gaur, wild buffalo, deer, wild boar and a number of primates. Meghalaya also has a large variety of bats. The limestone caves in Meghalaya such as the Siju Cave are home to some of the nation's rarest bat species. The Hulak gibbon is found in all districts of Meghalaya. Common reptiles in Meghalaya are lizards, crocodiles, and tortoises. Meghalaya also has a number of snakes, including the python, copperhead, green tree racer, Indian cobra, king cobra, coral snake, and vipers. Meghalaya's forests host 660 species of birds, many of which are endemic to Himalayan foothills, Tibet, and Southeast Asia. Of the birds found in Meghalaya forests, 34 are on worldwide threatened species list and 9 are on critically endangered list. Prominent birds spotted in Meghalaya include those from the families of Phasianidae, Anatidae, Podocypetidae, Siconiidae, Threskiornithidae, Ardeidae, Pelicanidae, Phallocrocoracidae, Onhingidae, Falconidae, Accipitridae, Odididae, Ralidae, Heliornithidae, Gruidae, Ternicidae, Barinidae, Caridriidae, Glariolidae, Scolopacidae, Jacanidae, Columbidae, Cetacidae, Cuculidae, Strigidae, Capramulgidae, Apodidae, Alcidinidae, Bucerotidae, Ramphistidae, Pisidae, Campophagidae, Dacuridae, Corvidae, Hirundinidae, Cysticolidae, Pycnonotidae, Silviidae, Tamaliidae, Cididae, Sternidae, Turdidae, Nectariniidae and Mushacapidae. Each of these families have many species. The Great Indian Hornbill is the largest bird in Meghalaya. Other regional birds found include the grey peacock pheasant, the large Indian parakeet, the common green pigeon and the blue jay. Meghalaya is also home to over 250 species of butterflies, nearly a quarter of all butterfly species found in India. Demographics Population Ethnic groups 2011, Kasi, 34% Garo, 30.5% Jaintia, 18.5% Bengali, 7.5% Nepali, 3.5% Hajong, 1.2% Biat, 1.1% Koch, 1.0% Tiwa, Lalung, 0.9% Raba, 0.8% Kuki, 0.5%, Sheikh, 0.3%, Other, 0.2% tribal people make up the majority of Meghalaya's population. The Khasis are the largest group, followed by the Garos, then the Jainshas. These were among those known to the British as hill tribes. Other groups include the Hajongs, the Biats, the Kachas and related Rajabongshas, the Boros, Dimasa, Kuki, Lakar, Tiwa, Lalung, Karbi, Raba and Nepali. Meghalaya recorded the highest decennial population growth of 27.82% among all the seven northeastern states, as per the Provisional Report of Census 2011. The population of Meghalaya as of 2011 has been estimated at 2,964,007 of which females comprise 1,492,668 and males 1,471,339. 
As per the Census of India 2011, the sex ratio in the state was 986 females per 1,000 males which was far higher than the national average of 940. The urban female sex ratio of 985 was higher than the rural sex ratio of 972. Religion Meghalaya is one of three states in India to have a Christian majority. About 75% of the population practices Christianity, with Presbyterians, Baptists and Catholics the more common denominations. The religion of the people in Meghalaya is closely related to their ethnicity. Close to 90% of the Garo tribe and nearly 80% of the Khasi are Christian, while more than 97% of the Hajong, 98.53% of the Koch, and 94.60% of the Raba tribes are Hindu. Out of the 689,639 Garo living in Meghalaya, most were Christians as of 2001 census, and only few people living in remote areas follow the Songsarek religion. Out of the 1,123,490 Khasi, most were Christians, 202,978 followed the indigenous Niam Khasi, Shnong, Nyamtra, 17,641 of the Khasi were Hindu and 2,977 were Muslim. A number of minor tribes live in Meghalaya, including Hajong 31,381 to 97.23% Hindu, Koch 21,381 to 98.53% Hindu, Raba 28,153 to 94.60% Hindu, Makir 11,399 to 52% Christian and 30% Hindu, Tiwa Lalung 8,438 to 96.15% Christian and be it 10,085 to 97.3% Christian. Conversion from indigenous to Christianity began in the 19th century under the British era. In 1830s, American Baptist Foreign Missionary Society had become active in Northeast to convert indigenous tribes to Christianity. Later, they were offered to expand and reach into Cherrapunji Meghalaya, but they lacked the resources to do so and declined. Welsh Presbyterian Mission took the offer and they began work at the Cherrapunji Mission Field. By early 1900s, other Protestant denominations of Christianity were active in Meghalaya. The outbreak of world wars forced the preachers to return home to Europe and America. It is during this period that Catholicism took root in Meghalaya and neighbouring region. In 20th century, Union Christian College started operations at Barapani, Shillong. Currently, Presbyterians and Catholics are two most common Christian denominations found in Meghalaya. Languages <coughs> English is the official and widely spoken language of the state. The other principal languages in Meghalaya are Khasi and Garo. Kasi also spelled Kasia, Kasi, Kasia and Ki is a branch of the Mon Khmer family of the Austroasiatic stock and according to 2001 census, Kasi is spoken by about 1,128,575 people residing in Meghalaya. Many words in the Kasi language have been borrowed from Indo-Aryan languages such as Nepali, Bengali and Assamese. Moreover, the Kasi language originally had no script of its own. The Khasi language is one of the very few surviving Mon Khmer languages in India today. The Garo language has a close affinity with the Koch and Bodo languages, a small family of Tibeto-Burman languages. Garo, spoken by the majority of the population, is spoken in many dialects such as Abang or Ambang, Atong, Akawe or A, Machi Dul, Chibok, Chizik Megam or Lingam, Ruga, Gara Ganching and Matabang. Several other languages are spoken in Meghalaya. For example, PNAR language is spoken by many people of the both West and East Jaintia Hills. The language is related to the Khasi language. Apart from the main languages, various local dialect are being spoken by the War Jaintia West Jaintia Hills, Maram and Lingam West Khasi Hills, War Pinersla East Khasi Hills, Tiwa language by Tiwa peoples of Re Bhoi district. Another example is the Biat language spoken by a large number of people inhabiting the southeastern part of Meghalaya bordering Assam. Nepali is found in almost all parts of the state. English is spoken as a common language across the diverse ethnic and demographic groups. 
In urban centers most of the people can speak English, rural residents vary in their ability. Districts Meghalaya currently has 11 districts, Jaintia Hills West Jaintia Hills East Jaintia Hills Kasi Hills Division East Kasi Hills Shillong West Kasi Hills Nonstuan South West Kasi Hills Makarwit Re Bhoi Nongpo Garo Hills Division North Garo Hills Risabelpara East Garo Hills William Nagar South Garo Hills Bagmara West Garo Hills Tura Southwest Garo Hills Ampati The Jaintia Hills district was created on the 22nd of February 1972 it has a total geographical area of 3819 square kilometers, 1475 square miles and a population of 295692 as per the 2001 census. The district headquarters is in Jowai. Jaintia Hills district is the largest producer of coal in the state. Coal mines can be seen all over the district. Limestone production in the state is increasing as there is high demand from cement industries. Recently, the one big district was divided into two, West Jaintia Hills and East Jaintia Hills. The East Kasi Hills district was carved out of the Kasi Hills on 28 October 1976. The district has covers an area of 2,748 square kilometers 1,061 square miles and has a population of 660,923 as per the 2001 census. The headquarters of East Kasi Hills are located in Shillong. The Re Bhoi district was formed by further division of East Kasi Hills district on 4 June 1992. It has an area of 2,448 square kilometers 945 square miles. The total population of the district was 192,795 in the 2001 census. The district headquarters is at Nongpo. It has a hilly terrain, and a large part of the area is covered with forests. The Re Bhoi district is famous for its pineapples and is the largest producer of pineapples in the state. The West Kasi Hills district is the largest district in the state with a geographical area of 5,247 square kilometers 2,026 square miles. The district was carved out of Kasi Hills district on 28 October 1976. The district headquarters are located at Nonstuan. The East Garo Hills District was formed in 1976 and has a population of 247,555 as per the 2001 census. It covers an area of 2,603 square kilometers 1,005 square miles. The district headquarters are at Williamnagar, earlier known as Simsingiri. Nongalbibra, a town in this district, has a large number of coal mines. The coal is transported to Golpara and Jogiopa via NH-62. The West Garo Hills District lies in the western part of the state and covers a geographical area of 3,714 square kilometers 1,434 square miles. The population of the district is 515,813 as per the 2001 census. The district headquarters are located at Tura. The South Garo Hills District came into existence on 18 June 1992 after the division of the West Garo Hills District. The total geographical area of the district is 1850 square kilometers, 710 square miles. As per the 2001 census, the district has a population of 99100. The district headquarters are at Bagmara. As of 2012, there are 11 districts, 16 towns and an estimated 6026 villages in Meghalaya. Topic education Meghalaya schools are run by the state government or by private organizations, including religious institutions. Instruction is only in English. Other Indian languages like Assamese, Bengali, Hindi, Garo, Khasi, Mizo, Nepali and Urdu are taught as optional subjects. The secondary schools are affiliated with the Council for the Indian School Certificate Examinations CISCE, the Central Board for Secondary Education CBSE, the National Institute of Open School NIOS, or the Meghalaya Board of School Education. 
Under the 10 plus 2 plus 3 plan, after completing secondary school, students typically enroll for two years in a junior college, also known as pre-university, or in schools with a higher secondary facility affiliated with the Meghalaya Board of School Education or any central board. Students choose from one of three streams, liberal arts, commerce or science. Upon completing the required coursework, students may enroll in general or professional degree programs. Topic: Universities. National Institute of Technology, Meghalaya. Topic: Colleges. Achung Rangmanpa College, Mahendraganj Don Bosco College, Tura Northeast Adventist College, Thadlaskian Kiang Nanba Government College, Jowai Raid Laban College, Shillong Lady Keen College, Shillong Nongtaing College, Nongtaing Nonstuan College, Nonstuan Ri Bhoi College, Nongpo St. Anthony's College, Shillong St. Edmund's College, Shillong St. Mary's College, Shillong Sankardev College, Shillong Sang Kasi College, Shillong Shillong College, Shillong Shillong Commerce College, Shillong Shillong Law College, Shillong Sora Government College, Cherrapunji Synod College, Shillong Tikrakila College, Tikrakila W. Garo Hills Tura Government College, Tura Tura Law College, Tura Women's College, Shillong Some institutes like Indian Institute of Management, Shillong, Regional Institute of Science and Technology, Northeastern Indira Gandhi Regional Institute of Health and Medical Sciences, National Institute of Technology, Meghalaya, Indian Institute of Professional Studies, National Institute of Fashion Technology, Northeastern Institute of Ayurveda and Homeopathy are also present. Government and politics Meghalaya has Governor Tathagata Roy as the head of the state. State government The Meghalaya Legislative Assembly has 60 members at present. Meghalaya has two representatives in the Lok Sabha, one each from Shillong and Tura. It also has one representative in the Rajya Sabha. Since the creation of the state the Gati High Court has jurisdiction in Meghalaya. A circuit bench of the Guwahati High Court has been functioning at Shillong since 1974. However recently in March 2013 the Meghalaya High Court was separated from the Gati High Court and now the state has its own high court. <laughs> Local self-government. In order to provide local self-governance machinery to the rural population of the country, provisions were made in the Constitution of India. Accordingly, the Panchayati Raj institutions were set up. However, on account of the distinct customs and traditions prevailing in the northeast region, it was felt necessary to have a separate political and administrative structure in the region. Some of the tribal communities in the region had their own traditional political systems, and it was felt that Panchayati Raj institutions may come into conflict with these traditional systems. The sixth schedule was appended to the constitution on the recommendations of a subcommittee formed under the leadership of Gopinath Bordoloi, and the Constitution of Autonomous District Councils ADCs is provided in certain rural areas of the northeast including areas in Meghalaya. The ADCs in Meghalaya are the following. Kasi Hills Autonomous District Council Garo Hills Autonomous District Council Jainsha Hills Autonomous District Council Economy Meghalaya is predominantly an agrarian economy. Agriculture and allied activities engage nearly two-thirds of the total workforce in Meghalaya. However, the contribution of this sector to the state's NSDP is only about one-third. Agriculture in the state is characterized by low productivity and unsustainable farm practices. Despite the large percentage of population engaged in agriculture, the state imports food from other Indian states. 
Infrastructural constraints have also prevented the economy of the state from creating high-income jobs at a pace commensurate with that of the rest of India. Meghalaya's gross state domestic product for 2012 was estimated at 16173 crore rupees, 2.3 billion dollars in current prices. As of 2012, according to the Reserve Bank of India, about 12% of total state population is below poverty line, with 12.5% of the rural Meghalaya population is below the poverty line, while in urban areas, 9.3% are below the poverty line. Topic: <laughs> Agriculture. Meghalaya is basically an agricultural state with about 80% of its population depending entirely on agriculture for their livelihood. Nearly 10% of the geographical area of Meghalaya is under cultivation. Agriculture in the state is characterized by limited use of modern techniques, low yields and low productivity. As a result, despite the vast majority of the population being engaged in agriculture, the contribution of agricultural production to the state's GDP is low, and most of the population engaged in agriculture remain poor. A portion of the cultivated area is under the traditional shifting agriculture known locally as jum cultivation. Meghalaya produced 230,000 tons of food grains in 2001. Rice is the dominant food grain crop accounting for over 80% of the food grain production in the state. Other important food grain crops are maize, wheat and a few other cereals and pulses. Besides these, potato, ginger, turmeric, black pepper, areca nut, bay leaf cinnamomum tamala, beetle, short staple cotton, jute, mesta, mustard and rapeseed etc. are some of the important cash crops. Besides the major food crops of rice and maize, the state is renowned for its horticultural crops like orange, lemon, pineapple, guava, lychee, banana, jack fruits and fruits such as plum, pear and peach. Grains and staples production covers about 60% of the land area dedicated to crops. With the introduction of different crops of high-yielding varieties in the mid-1970s, remarkable increase in food grain production has been made. A major breakthrough was achieved when high-yielding varieties of paddy such as Missouri, Pankaj IR8, RCPL and other improved varieties series, especially IR36 which is suitable for Rabi season, allowing three crops to be grown every year. Another milestone was reached when Mega I and Mega II, which are cold-tolerant rice varieties developed by the Icar Northeast region at Umroy near Shillong, was released in 1991-92 for the higher altitude regions where there was no high-yielding rice varieties earlier. Today the state can claim that about 42% area under paddy have been covered with high-yielding varieties with the average productivity of 2,300 kg per hectare 2,100 pounds, acre. As is the case with maize and wheat where the productivity have increased tremendously with the introduction of HYV from 534 kg per hectare 476 pounds, acre during 1971-72 to 1,218 kg per hectare 1,087 pounds, acre of maize and from 611 kg per hectare 545 pounds, acre to 1,490 kg per hectare 1,330 pounds, acre of wheat, oilseeds such as rapeseed, mustard, linseed, soybean, castor and sesame are grown on nearly 100 square kilometers 39 square miles. Rape and mustard are the most important oilseeds accounting for well over two-thirds of the oilseed production of nearly 6.5 thousand tons. Fiber crops such as cotton, jute and mesta are among the only cash crops in Meghalaya, grown in Garo Hills. These have been losing popularity in recent years as indicated by their declining yield and area under cultivation. Climatic conditions in Meghalaya permit a large variety of horticulture crops including fruits, vegetables, flowers, spices, mushrooms and medicinal plants. These are considered to be higher value crops, but home food security concerns have prevented farmers at large from embracing them. The important fruits grown include citrus fruits, pineapples, papayas, and bananas. In addition to this, a large variety of vegetables are grown in the state, including cauliflower, cabbages and radishes. Areca nut plantations can be seen all over the state, especially around the road from Guwahati to Shillong. Other plantation crops like tea, coffee and cashews have been introduced lately and are becoming popular. A large variety of spices, flowers, medicinal plants and mushrooms are grown in the state. <laughs> 
Topic: Industry. Meghalaya has a rich base of natural resources. These include minerals such as coal, limestone, sulamanite, kaolin and granite among others. Meghalaya has a large forest cover, rich biodiversity and numerous water bodies. The low level of industrialization and the relatively poor infrastructure base acts as an impediment to the exploitation of these natural resources in the interest of the state's economy. In recent years two large cement manufacturing plants with production capacity more than 900 MTD have come up in Jainsha Hills District and several more are in pipeline to use the rich deposit of very high quality limestone available in this district. Electricity infrastructure Meghalaya with its high mountains, deep gorges and abundant rains has a large, unused hydroelectric potential. The assessed generation capacity exceeds 3,000 MW. The current installed capacity in the state is 185 MW, but the state itself consumes 610 MW. In other words, it imports electricity. The economic growth of the state suggests rising demand for electricity. The state has the potential to export net hydroelectric generated electricity and earn income for its internal development plans. The state also has large deposits of coal, thus being a candidate for thermal power plants. Several projects are under works. The proposed Garo Hills thermal project at Nongalbibra is expected to generate an additional 751 megawatts of power. There is a proposal for setting up a 250 megawatts thermal power plant in West Kasi Hills. The state government aims to increase its power generation output by about 2,000 to 2,500 megawatts, of which 700 to 980 megawatts will be thermal-based while 1,400 to 1,520 megawatts will be hydroelectricity. The state government has outlined a cost-shared public-private partnership model to accelerate private sector investments in its power sector. The generation transmission, transformation and distribution of electricity is entrusted to the Meghalaya Energy Corporation Limited which was constituted under the Electricity Supply Act, 1948. At present there are five Heidel power stations and one mini Heidel including Umiyam Heidel Project, Umtru Heidel Project, Mintu Leshka I Heidel Project and the Sunapani Micro Heidel Project. For the 12th five-year plan of India, there is a proposal to set up more Heidel power projects in the state, Kinshi 450 megawatts, UMNGI-1 54 megawatts, Umiyam UMTRUV 36 megawatts, Ganal 25 megawatts, Mafu 120 megawatts, Nongkole 120 megawatts, Nongna 50 megawatts, Rangma 65 megawatts, Umgat 260 megawatts, Umduna 57 megawatts, Mindu Leshka 2 60 megawatts, megawatts, Selim 170 megawatts and Moblai 140 megawatts. Of these, JP Group has committed itself to building the Kinshi and Umgat projects in Kasi Hills. Education infrastructure Meghalaya has a literacy rate of 62.56 as per the 2001 census and is the 27th most literate state in India. This increased to 75.5 in 2011. As of 2006, the state had 5,851 primary schools, 1,759 middle schools, and 655 higher secondary schools respectively. In 2008, 518,000 students were enrolled in its primary schools, and 232,000 in upper primary schools. The state monitors its school for quality, access, infrastructure and teachers' training, institution for higher studies like Indian Institute of Management, the University of Technology and Management USTM, which is in Shillong is the first Indian university to introduce cloud computing engineering as a field of study, in collaboration with IBM and the University of Petroleum and Energy Studies. IIM Shillong is one of the top-ranked management institutes in the country. Topic health infrastructure The state has 13 state government dispensaries, 22 community health centers, 93 primary health centers, 408 sub-centers. There were 378 doctors, 81 pharmacists, 337 staff nurses and 77 lab technicians as of 2012. 
A special program has been launched by the state government for the treatment of tuberculosis, leprosy, cancer and mental diseases. Though there has been a steady decline in the death rate, improvement in life expectancy and an increase in health infrastructure, about 42.3% of the state's population is still uncovered by health care, according to the status paper prepared by the Health Department. There are numerous hospitals being set up, both private and government, some of them are Civil Hospital, Ganesh Das Hospital, KJP Synod Hospital, NEIGRIHMS, Northeastern Institute of Ayurveda and Homeopathy NEIAH, RP Chest Hospital, Woodland Hospital, Nazareth Hospital, Christian Hospital etc. Urban areas. Municipalities, Shillong, Tura, Jowai Municipal Boards, Williamnagar, Risabelpara, Bagmara Cantonment Board, Shillong Cantonment Umroy. Town Committees, Nonstuan, Nongpo, Merung Census Towns, Maulai, Madanarding, Nongdamai, Nongminsong, Pintorumkra, Sora, Cherapunji, Pinersla Minor Towns, Clearyat, Makarwit, Empati Areas under Shillong Urban Agglomeration, Shillong, Shillong Cantonment, Umroy, Maulai, Madanarding, Nongdamai, Nongminsong, Pintorumkra. <laughs> New proposal for urban areas Municipal corporations, Shillong including Shillong Cantonment, Umroy, Maulai, Madanarding, Nongdamai, Nongminsong, Pintorumkra. Municipalities, Tura, Jowai, Williamnagar Municipal Boards, Risabelpara, Bagmara, Nonstuan, Nongpo, Merung, Clearyat, Makarwit, Empati, Sora, Cherapunji Town Committees, Pinersla Culture and society The main tribes in Meghalaya are the Khasis, the Garos, and the Jainshas. Each tribe has its own culture, traditions, dress and language. Topic: <inaudible> Social Institutions. The majority of population and the major tribal groups in Meghalaya follow a matrilineal system where lineage and inheritance are traced through women. The youngest daughter inherits all the property and she is the caretaker of aged parents and any unmarried siblings. In some cases, such as when there is no daughter in the family or other reasons, the parents may nominate another girl such as a daughter-in-law as the heir of house and all other property they may own. The Khasi and Jainsha tribesmen follow the traditional matrilineal norm, wherein the Kun Katdu or the youngest daughter inherits all the property and responsibilities for the family. However, the male line, particularly the mother's brother, may indirectly control the ancestral property since he may be involved in important decisions relating to property including its sale and disposal. In case a family has no daughters, the Khasi and Jainsha also called Sintangs have the custom of Ia Rap Iing, where the family adopts a girl from another family, perform religious ceremonies with the community, and she then becomes Ka Tri Iing head of the house. In the Garo lineage system, the youngest daughter inherits the family property by default, unless another daughter is so named by the parents. She then becomes designated as Nokna meaning for the house or home. If there are no daughters, a chosen daughter-in-law or an adopted child comes to stay in the house and inherit the property. Meghalaya has one of the world's largest surviving matrilineal cultures. <laughs> Traditional political institutions All the three major ethnic tribal groups, namely, the Khasis, Jainshas and the Garos also have their own traditional political institutions that have existed for hundreds of years. These political institutions were fairly well developed and functioned at various tiers, such as the village level, clan level and state level. In the traditional political system of the Khasis, each clan had its own council known as the Dorbar Kur which was presided over by the clan headman. The council or the Dorbar managed the internal affairs of the clan. Similarly, every village had a local assembly known as the Dorbar Shnong, i.e. village Durbar or council, which was presided over by the village headman. The inter-village issues were dealt with through a political unit comprising adjacent Khasi villages. 
The local political units were known as the raids, under by the supreme political authority known as the Saimship. The Saimship was the congregation of several raids and was headed an elected chief known as the Syiem or Seem, the king. The Seem ruled the Kasi state through an elected state assembly, known as the Durbar Hima. The Seem also had his mantris ministers whose counsel he would use in exercising executive responsibilities. Taxes were called pinsik, and tolls were called krong, the latter being the primary source of state income. In early 20th century, Raja Dakor Singh was the Seem of Khymer. The Jainshas also had a three-tier political system somewhat similar to the Khasis, including the raids and the Syiem. The raids were headed by Dolwa, who were responsible for performing the executive and ceremonial functions at the raid level. At the lowest level were the village headmen. Each administrative tier had its own elected councils or durbars. In the traditional political system of the Garos a group of Garo villages comprised the A-King. The A-King functioned under the supervision of the Nakmas, which was perhaps the only political and administrative authority in the political institution of the Garos. The Nakma performed both judicial and legislative functions. The Nakmas also congregated to address inter-A-King issues. There were no well-organized councils or durbars among the Garos. <laughs> Festivals Kasi stance is central to the culture of Kasi life, and a part of the rites of passage. Dances are performed in Shnong village, a raid group of villages, and a Hema conglomeration of raids. Some festivals include Ka Shad Suk Mainsiam, Ka Pom Blang Nongkrim, Ka Shad Shingbyong Thanjop, Ka Shad Kinjo Kaskane, Ka Bam Kana Shnong, Umsan Nongkarai, Shad Bay Seer. Jainsha's festivals of the Jainsha Hills, like others, is integral to the culture of people of Jainsha Hills. It celebrates nature, balance and solidarity among its people. Festivals of Jainsha's includes Bedingklam, Leo dance, sewing ritual ceremony. Garasfer Garos, festivals sustain their cultural heritage. They were often dedicated to religious events, nature and seasons as well as community events such as stages of jum cultivation. The main festivals of Garos are Den Bilsia, Wangala, Rongchu Gala, Mia Mua, Mangona, Grengdak Ba, Jamong Sia, Ya Megapa, Sa Sat Ra Chaka, Ajior Ahaueya, Dor Rata Dance, Chambal Masara, Dokrujwa, Saram Cha, A Se Mania or Ta Ta which celebrated. Hajong Shajongs celebrate both traditional festivals and Hindu festivals. The entire plain belt of Garo Hills is inhabited by the Hajongs, they are an agrarian tribe. Major traditional festivals include Pun, Biswa, Kati Gasa, Bastu Puya, and Chor Maga. Biats The Biats have many kinds of festivals Nulding Kut, Pamchar Kut, Labang Kut, Favang Kut, etc., for different occasions. However, unlike in the past, they no longer practice or observe those festivals except Nolding Kut. The Nolding Kut renewal of life festival is observed every January, with singing, dancing, and traditional games after the priest Thiampu pray to Chung Pathian to bless them in every sphere of life. Spirituality In southern Meghalaya, located in Masinram, is the Majimbuan cave. Here a massive stalagmite has been shaped by nature into a shivalinga. According to legend, from the 13th century, this Shivalinga called has existed in the Jainsha Hills under the reign of Rani Singha. Tens of thousands of the Jainsha tribe members participate over the Hindu festival of Shivratri night of Lord Shiva every year. <laughs> Living root bridges The practice of creating living root bridges can be found in Meghalaya. Here, functional, living, architecture is created by slowly training the aerial roots of the ficus elastica tree. Examples of these structures can be found as far west as the valley east of Masinram, and as far east as the East Jaintia Hills district, meaning that they are made by both Khasis and Jaintias. Large numbers of these man-made living structures exist in the mountainous terrain along the southern border of the Shillong Plateau, though as a cultural practice they are fading, with many individual examples having disappeared recently, either falling in landslides or floods or being replaced with more standard steel bridges. Transport 
The partition of the country in 1947 created severe infrastructural constraints for the northeastern region, with merely 2% of the perimeter of the region adjoining the rest of the country. A narrow strip of land, often called the Siliguri Corridor or the Chicken's Neck, connects the region with the state of West Bengal. Meghalaya is a landlocked state with a large number of small settlements in remote areas. Road is the only means of transport. While the capital Shillong is relatively well connected, road connectivity in most other parts is relatively poor. A significant portion of the roads in the state are still unpaved. Most of the arrivals into the Meghalaya take place through Guwahati in neighboring Assam, which is nearly 103 kilometers away. Assam has a major railhead as well as an airport with regular train and air services to the rest of the country. When Meghalaya was carved out of Assam as an autonomous state in 1972, it inherited a total road length of 2,786.68 km including 174 km of national highways with road density of 12.42 km per 100 square km. By 2004, total road length has reached up to 9,350 km out of which 5,857 km were surfaced. The road density had increased to 41.69 km per 100 square km by March 2011. However, Meghalaya is still far below the national average of 75 km per 100 square km. In order to provide better services to the people of the state, the Meghalaya Public Works Department is taking steps for improvement and upgradation of the existing roads and bridges in phased manner. Road network Meghalaya has a road network of around 7,633 km, out of which 3,691 km is black-topped and the remaining 3,942 km is graveled. Meghalaya is also connected to Silchar in Assam, Aizal in Mizoram, and Agartala in Tripura through national highways. Many private buses and taxi operators carry passengers from Guwahati to Shillong. The journey takes from 3 to 4 hours. Day and night bus services are available from Shillong to all major towns of Meghalaya and also other capitals and important towns of Assam and the northeastern states. Railway <inaudible> 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 Meghalaya has a railhead at Mendipathar and regular train service connecting Mendipathar in Meghalaya and Guwahati in Assam, has started on November 30, 2014. The Chera Kampaniganj State Railways was a former mountain railway through the state. Guwahati 103 km 64 miles from Shillong is the nearest major railway station connecting the northeast region with the rest of the country through a broad gauge track network. There is a plan for extending the rail link from Guwahati to Bernahat 20 km 12 miles from Guwahati within Meghalaya and further extending it up to state capital Shillong. Aviation <inaudible> 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 State capital Shillong has an airport at Umroy 30 km 19 miles from Shillong on the Guwahati Shillong Highway. A new terminal building was built at a cost of 30 crore rupees $4.2 million and inaugurated in June 2011. Air India Regional operates flights to Kolkata from this airport. There is also a helicopter service connecting Shillong to Guwahati and Tura. Baljik Airport near Tura became operational in 2008. The Airports Authority of India AAI is developing the airport for operation of ATR-42, ATR-72 type of aircraft. Other nearby airports are in Assam, with Borjar, Guwahati Airport IATA, Gao, about 124 km 77 miles from Shillong. Tourism Earlier, foreign tourists required special permits to enter the areas that now constitute the state of Meghalaya. However, the restrictions were removed in 1955. Meghalaya is compared to Scotland for its highlands, fog and scenery. Meghalaya has some of the thickest primary forests in the country and therefore constitutes one of the most important ecotourism circuits in India. The Meghalayan subtropical forests support a vast variety of flora and fauna. Meghalaya has two national parks and three wildlife sanctuaries. 
Meghalaya also offers many adventure tourism opportunities in the form of mountaineering, rock climbing, trekking and hiking, caving spelunking, and water sports. The state offers several trekking routes, some of which also afford an opportunity to encounter rare animals. The Umiam Lake has a water sports complex with facilities such as rowboats, paddleboats, sailing boats, cruise boats, water scooters and speedboats. Cherrapunji is one of the popular tourist locations in northeast of India. It lies to the south of the capital Shillong. A rather scenic 50 km long road connects Cherrapunji with Shillong. Living route bridges are also an important tourist draw, with many examples located near Cherrapunji. The famous double-decker route bridge, along with several others, is found in the village of Nongriat, which is tourist-friendly. Many other route bridges can be found nearby, in the villages of Nongthamai, Mintang, and Tainrong. Other areas with route bridges include Rewai village, near the tourist village of Malinong, Pinersla, especially the villages of Rangthilaing and Makarnat, and the area around Dhaka, in the West Jainsha Hills district, where there are many living route bridges scattered throughout the nearby villages. Waterfalls and rivers to popular waterfalls in the state are the Elephant Falls, Shadtham Falls, Winya Falls, Bishop Falls, Nokalakai Falls, Langshang Falls and Sweet Falls. The hot springs at Jakram near Masinram are believed to have curative and medicinal properties. Nankanum Island located in the West Kasi Hills district is the biggest river island in Meghalaya and the second biggest in Asia. It is 14 km from Nonstuan. The island is formed by the bifurcation of Kinshi River into the Fanlang River and the Namliang River. Adjacent to the sandy beach the Fanlang River forms a very beautiful lake. The river then moves along and before reaching a deep gorge, forms a pretty waterfall about 60 meters high called Shadtham Fall. Sacred Groves Meghalaya is also known for its sacred groves. They are small or large areas of forests or natural vegetation that are usually dedicated to local folk deities or tree spirits or some religious symbolism over many generations, often since ancient times. These spaces are found all over India, are protected by local communities, and in some cases the locals would neither touch leaves or fruits or in other ways damage the forest, flora or fauna taking refuge in them. This guardianship creates a sacred area where nature and wildlife thrive. The Maflong Sacred Forest, also known as La Lingdo, is one of the most famous sacred forests in Meghalaya. It's located about 25 km from Shillong. It's a scenic nature destination, and one can find the sacred Rudraksha tree here. Rural areas Meghalaya rural life and villages offer a glimpse in northeast mountain life. The Malinong village located near the India-Bangladesh border is one such village. It has been featured by travel magazine Discover India. The village is geared for tourism and has a living route bridges, hiking trails and rock formations. Lakes Meghalaya also has many natural and man-made lakes. The Umiam Lake popularly known as Bara Pani meaning Big Water on the Guwahati Shillong Road is a major tourism attraction for tourists. Meghalaya has several parks, Thongkarung Park, the Eco Park, the Botanical Garden and Lady Hyderi Park to name a few. Dhaka, which is located at about 96 km from Shillong is the gateway to Bangladesh and affords a scenic view of some of the tallest mountain ranges in Meghalaya and the Bangladesh borderlands. Balpakram National Park with its pristine habitat and scenery is a major attraction. The Nokrek National Park, also in Garo Hills has its own charm with lot of wildlife. Caves Meghalaya has an estimated 500 natural limestone and sandstone caves spread over the entire state including most of the longest and deepest caves in the subcontinent. Krem Liat Pra is the longest cave, and Sinrung Pamang is the deepest cave. Both are located in the Jainsha Hills. Cavers from United Kingdom, Germany, Austria, Ireland and the United States have been visiting Meghalaya for over a decade exploring these caves. Not many of these have however been developed or promoted adequately for major tourist destinations. Living Route Bridges Meghalaya is famous for its living route bridges, a kind of suspension bridge made over rivers using intertwined roots of ficus elastica trees planted on opposite banks of the river or hill slopes. These bridges can be seen around Cherrapunji, Nongtaing, Kadang Rim and Kadang Thimai villages A double-decker bridge exists in Nongriat village. Other important places of tourism interest Meghalaya include 
Jakrim, 64 km from Shillong, a potential health resort having gushing hot spring of sulfur water, believed to have curative medicinal properties. Ranikar, 140 km from Shillong, a place of scenic beauty. Ranikar is one of Meghalaya's most popular spots for angling, with an abundance of carp and other fresh water fish. Dhaka, 96 km from Shillong, is a border town, where one can have a glimpse of the neighbouring country of Bangladesh. The colourful annual boat race during spring at the Umgat River is an added attraction. K.S. Hyde Dane Telen Falls, located near Sora, meaning the falls where the mythical monster of Kasi legend was finally butchered. The axe marks made on the rocks where Telen was butchered are still intact and visible. Dingye Peak, located to the west of the Shillong Plateau, Dingye Peak is just 200 feet lower than Shillong Peak. On the top of Dingye, there is a huge hollow, shaped like a cup, believed to be the crater of an extinct prehistoric volcano. Dwarksweed, a beautiful pool with wide, rocky sand banks located on a stream alongside the Umroy Boilimbong Road is known as Dwarksweed or Devil's Doorway. Kailing Rock, located about 11 km off Merung, is a several million years old steep dome of red granite rising to an elevation of about 5,400 feet above sea level. Sacred Forest Moflong, one of the most celebrated sacred groves of the state is the grove at Moflong about 25 km off Shillong. Preserved since time immemorial, these sacred groves shave wide range of flora, thick cushion of humus on the grounds accumulated over the centuries, and trees heavily loaded with epiphytic growth of aeroids, pipers, ferns, fern allies and orchids. <laughs> Major issues The significant issues in the state include illegal migrants from Bangladesh, incidences of violence, political instability and deforestation from traditional cut and burn shift farming practices. There are several clashes between Khasi people and Bangladeshi Muslims in Meghalaya. Illegal <inaudible> <inaudible> immigration <inaudible> <inaudible> Illegal immigration has become a major issue in Indian states that surround Bangladesh, West Bengal to the west, Meghalaya and Assam to the north, and Tripura, Mizoram and Manipur to the east. Millions of Bangladeshis have poured into India as Indian economy has prospered. The influx of Bangladeshi people is stated to be an effort to escape violence, to escape poverty or to escape religious persecution of Hindus in an overwhelmingly Islamic Bangladesh. In Meghalaya, dozens of political and civic groups have demanded that this migration be stopped or controlled to manageable levels. The border between Meghalaya and Bangladesh is about 440 km long, of which some 350 is fenced, but the border is not continuously patrolled and is porous. Efforts are underway to fence it completely and introduce means to issue ID cards. Chief Minister Mukul Sangma, in August 2012, called upon Government of India to take corrective measures to stop the illegal immigration of Bangladeshis into the northeast of the country before the situation goes out of hand. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Violence. Between 2006 and 2013, between 0 and 28 civilians have died per year in Meghalaya or about 0 to 1 per 100,000 people, which the state authorities have classified as terror-related intentional violence. The world's average annual death rate from intentional violence, in recent years, has been 7.9 per 100,000 people. The terror-related deaths are from conflicts primarily between different tribal groups and against migrants from Bangladesh. Along with political resolution and dialogue, various Christian organizations have taken the initiative to prevent violence and help the process of discussion between groups. <laughs> political instability The state has had 23 state governments since its inception in 1972, with a median lifespan of less than 18 months. Only three governments have survived more than three years. Political instability has affected the state's economy in the past. Over recent years, there has been increasing political stability. The last state assembly elections were held in 2013, after a five-year government that was elected in 2008. Topic: <laughs> Jump farming. 
Jump farming, or cut and burn shift cultivation, is an ancient practice in Meghalaya. It is culturally ingrained through folklores. One legend states the god of wind with the god of hail and storm shook off seeds from the celestial tree, which were picked up and sown by a bird known as Du Amic. These were the seeds of rice. The god gave the human beings some of those celestial seeds, provided instruction on shift agriculture and proper rice cultivation practice, with the demand that at every harvest a portion of the first harvest must be dedicated to him. Another folktale is from the Garo Hills of Meghalaya where a man named Bone Naripa Jain Nitepa harvested rice and millet from a patch of land he cleared and cultivated near the rock named Misi Kokdok. He then shared this knowledge with others, and named the different months of the year, each of which is a stage of shifting cultivation. In modern times, shift cultivation is a significant threat to the biodiversity of Meghalaya. A 2001 satellite imaging study showed that shift cultivation practice continues and patches of primary dense forests are lost even from areas protected as biosphere. Jum farming is a threat not only for natural biodiversity, it is also a low yield unproductive method of agriculture. It is a significant issue in Meghalaya, given majority of its people rely on agriculture to make a living. Shift farming is a practice that is not unique to northeastern Indian states such as Meghalaya, but the issue is found throughout Southeast Asia. Media Some major media outlets in the state are Meghalaya Times, Meghalaya Times is one of the new entrants in the market and the fastest growing English newspaper in the state. In a short period of time, it has already established large readership across the state. Salantini Genera, Salantini Genera is the first Garo language daily of the state. Shillong Samay, Shillong Samay is the first Hindi daily of the state. Shillong Times, Shillong Times is one of the oldest English newspapers of the region. The Meghalaya Guardian, the Meghalaya Guardian is one of the oldest newspaper of the state, over the years there have been several weeklies and dailies that have come up. To name a few. The Tura Times, the Tura Times is the first English daily which is published out from Tura. Salantini Kurung, Salantini Kurung is the Garo edition of the Tura Times, Pringpringni ASCII being the most recent Garo language newspaper to circulate. U Nonsign Hima, U Nonsign Hima is the oldest circulating Kasi newspaper in Meghalaya. Established in December 1960, it is now the highest circulated Kasi daily ABC July to December 2013, weekly employment newsletter which is distributed throughout the state. Shillong Weekly Express, weekly newsletter that was started on 2010. Eclectic Northeast See also Tourism in North East India Outline of India West Bengal Index of India-related articles Bibliography of India India – Wikipedia book